Hello guys, in this video I'll show you, how to do these motion tracking callouts with an object, in the Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. First import your clip to the timeline. In this clip, I'm going to track this bike. Let's make the callouts title first. So select the type tool, and type your first line. To customize this title, open the Essential Graphics tab. Then under the Essential Graphics tab, click on Edit, and mark all the text. And here I'm using the Biba's bold font. Then enable the background. So it'll make a solid color background under the text. Now you can adjust the background opacity, I would like to use 100%. Then you can increase the background border size. I would like to use around 10%. Now type your bottom text line. Here I'm using Biba's regular font. Text size around 70. And the text tracking 300. And I don't need this background for the bottom line, so deselect it. Then adjust the bottom text position. Now we need to make a straight line between these two text. So click on this new layer icon and select rectangle. And if you like, you can change the shape color here. Then disable the set scale lock. And decrease the scale X value. 8 is perfect for me. Then increase the Y value to make this line longer. Now adjust the line position. Okay, it's perfect. Now we need to make another line. Let's just duplicate this line. So select the move tool. Then select this line. And click Ctrl plus C to copy. Then click Ctrl plus V to paste. Now let's rotate this line, negative 45 degrees. And decrease the scale X value a little bit. Then just move this line, left of this first line, something like this. To set it perfectly, you can zoom the program window. Then adjust this line perfectly. Now we need to make an ellipse shape. So again click on this new layer icon. And select ellipse. Then make it circle properly, just like that. Now decrease the scale size. 15 is perfect for me. And move this circle bottom of this line. That's it for the callouts title. Then set the screen size to fit. Now we need to track our title with an object. So adjust the title duration with your clip. And nest this title layer. So right click on it, and select nest. Then hit enter. Now select this nested clip. And move over to the effect controls tab. Here we need to animate the position and scale. And we are going to track this title with this first bike. As we can see, this bike is looking so small, but our title is bigger than bike. We need to make this title small. I like to use the scale size of 50. Then find the frame, where's the bike moves out of the footage. Then set the scale size 100%. And make a keyframe here. Then going back to the first frame. And set the scale size 50. So our first animation is complete and the animation looks like that. Now we need to track our title with this bike. So going back to the first frame, then make a keyframe on the position, and click on motion, and move this title above your object, and select a point where you want to track this title. In my case, I'm using this bike headlight. Then move 5 frames to the right, so click shift plus right arrow key, then again reposition the title. Again click shift plus right arrow key, and reposition the title. Also you can zoom the screen size, to set the title perfectly. Then do it continue. So click shift plus right arrow key, and set the title position. Here I speeded up this part, so you don't have to wait. In the end, when the bike moves out of the frame, you can also move the title outside of the frame. Then set the screen size to fit. And watch the final preview. 
So that's it for today. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.